If you truly want to learn how to serve like the pros, you've got to focus on this one tip that I'm showing you today. And it has everything to do with how you set up with your stance. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. Some people call me the serve surgeon because I'm super passionate about helping you get to the next level with your serve and have a clear pathway to improve. It's all about understanding what you need to improve, understand the patterns with your serves that are letting you down, and then coming up with progressions that can help you get better. And today we're going to focus on your stance. And why are we going to focus on the stance? Because so many players that do not look like pro servers out there are serving with this up together, down together motion. They're they're having a hard time turning their shoulders and their hips at the beginning of their motion, a la Roger Federer, Pete Sampras, and other great servers that do it really well. And so what I found over the years of studying the serve and even being a racket fit instructor where we really look at what the body serve connection is doing, in other words, looking at what the body can do, how the body can move, and matching it to the proper and efficient technique, what we want to look at is the stance. And so a lot of players are in plat, uh, excuse me, pinpoint stances now. So what they do is they bring their foot up as they start their motion like this. Okay? They bring their they bring their foot up and that limits turn. So now you're serving with more with more arm like that. Okay? So now what I like to do is I like to get people in what's called a platform stance. So in the platform stance, you're going to set up with your feet like this, and your back foot is not going to move until you drive to hit the serve. What I see people doing when they get in their, their platform stance is they line the toe of their back foot with the middle of their front foot like this. And if you try to turn your shoulders at the beginning of your motion, you're going to get blocked in your hips. So now, again, it's perpetuating this down together, up together motion where you're not turning your shoulders and your hips enough. Now, if you have a forehand grip on your serve, I'm going to get a ball here. I get a couple of balls. If you have a forehand grip on your serve, you probably want to keep this stance that I was just telling you where you line up your toe of your back foot with the, mid, the middle of your front foot. You could slide it back a little bit. And if you have a forehand grip, that's about all you're going to be able to do. But if you have a continental grip and you want to work towards a continental grip, I'm going to advise you to adjust your stance so that it will allow you to turn and coil easier. This is a serve hack that if you do nothing else, you can start to look more like the best pro servers in the world. And so what you want to do is if you set up in this position like we just talked about, you're simply going to slide this foot back. So I like to slide it back so that there's space between the heel of the front foot and the toe of the back foot. So you're going to slide this foot back so that there's space. Now all of a sudden I can turn easier at the beginning of the motion. So we do this with a lot of players that send us in video analysis and they want their serves reviewed. We get this foot to slide back. Now, how much you slide it back is up to you and your comfort level. If you're normally here, you can slide it back an inch and it will make a difference. You could slide it back two or three inches if that helps you. I have some pro players that when they, sl they, they have their foot all the way back here so that they can really turn, coil, and disguise their serves better. So that is a personal preference. Make sure you have a continental grip if you're going to do this. If you don't, I don't advise that you have this extreme stance like this, okay? So we've got the stance where we slide this foot back. Another big tip for you, a lot of players are facing the net when they serve. So their, their front toe is pointed and this toe is pointed a little bit like this. What do you think that's going to do with turn? It's going to limit turn. You're only going to be able to move the arms because if you try to turn, you're going to get blocked in the inside of your hips here. If you have a pinpoint stance and you bring this foot up, you're not going to be able to turn either. So here's the simple hack. What you want to do is get into this stance and try to get your, toe, your front foot parallel to the baseline and get your back foot to turn out a little bit, to, to externally rotate 
your foot or your hip like this. So now when you do that, you can actually, if I try to turn without doing that, I get blocked right here. As soon as I open up this back foot, now I can turn. And it's that one simple tip. If you study uh, Pete Sampras, he's very extreme with this move. He had some of the biggest turn of any player ever. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. I wanna show you the difference here. If I point my feet like this, and I get ready to serve, watch my turn. <laughs> Okay, pretty limited with my turn. Now, if you do that, that means you're probably gonna have a better slice serve. So if I face the net more and don't turn as much, I'll be able to hit great slice. So if you wanna have a great slice serve, you might wanna point your feet. But if you wanna learn topspin, if you wanna learn kick, if you really wanna understand how to get that disguise and that topspin and that heavy serve that Sampras and Federer hit, you wanna get this front foot more parallel, you want to slide this foot back and you want to turn it out. So now I'm in that Sampras S stance and now I can really focus on my turn. Now that serve really flew as you can see. We don't cut anything over here. We want to do it the right way. But now, now that I have my stance, I can focus on dunking the ball and trying to make this serve. So I'm in my stance. This foot is turned out. And there we go. So that felt a lot better being able to bomb that at 46 years young, it feels pretty good without any practice. But that's just because I've practiced these concepts for so long with complete clarity. And that's what I want for you. The summary of this video is let's look at your stance and let's look at changing your stance so that it will allow you to turn easier. And let's get this foot to slide back and let's get this foot to turn out and let's see what happens with your surf. Remember, if you don't have a continental grip, you should not do this stance. If you have any type of pain or restrictions, you shouldn't do this. But most people actually feel freer when they can open up this leg, open up this hip, and turn more at the beginning. I had a blast making this video and giving you this serve trick that has helped so many players that I've been involved with, and I want you to have the same benefits. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I've got a free gift to give you, a free membership actually, 21 lessons inside our Tennis Evolution app and on our online portal, absolutely free, no credit cards required. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get hooked, with that, get hooked up with that free app and those free lessons that will accelerate your results. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thanks for your time today.